Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. So if that's your vibe, please consider hitting subscribe anytime during this video. And today I want to talk about some of my favorite affordable skincare swaps because I don't know about you, but inflation sure has been getting me down. I mean, with the higher gas prices, even at the grocery store, everything costs a lot more. And I've even noticed some of my favorite skincare products have gone up a couple of dollars and it all really adds up at the end of the day, right? Or at the end of the month with your budget. So maybe you're feeling the same kind of like tightness in your wallet right now and you might be looking for some affordable but effective skincare options. And that's what this video is all about. And before we jump into the picks, I wanna let you know that portions of today's video are sponsored by V Green. They are a Korean skincare brand that focuses on gentle, fragrance-free formulas, eco-conscious packaging, and they are cruelty-free. All right, let's jump right into the video. Video, give it a big thumbs up. You already know how hard it is to find just fragrance free skincare that is suited for sensitive skin. But if you're also looking for brands that care about the packaging, that care about cruelty free, and care about vegan ingredients, well, <laughs> you might find yourself paying a lot of money to find those values within one skincare product or one skincare brand. But I have to tell you, V Green really has all of that covered at a fraction of the price. So if you are looking for vegan skincare, cruelty free skincare, that is gentle to your sensitive skin, you definitely wanna look at V Green products as a possible um, affordable swap for some of those pricier skincare brands. Now, one of the products that I'm absolutely obsessed with from their line is the alcohol-free mucin essence toner. And you may be like, Kelly, mucin is not vegan, but this does not actually come from snails. This actually comes from wild yam. Now, wild yam is sometimes referred to as phytomucin and in the K-beauty space is actually being explored and developed as a vegan alternative to snail mucin. Now, you know I love snail personally, but I do know that it can kind of ick people out. So this is actually a really worthy alternative because it offers a lot of the same benefits. It's antibacterial, it's an antioxidant, it's got really great wound healing abilities and overall is very hydrating and reparative to the skin. All the things that snail has been renowned for for years years and years, phytomucin is actually able to take its place and be vegan at the same time. But you know, it's all about the texture for me. And I am obsessed with this the moment I opened it up. Like I cannot stop putting this on my face. It feels so, so hydrating. It's got a little bit of body to it, as you would expect from a mucin type of product, right? It's not sticky, it's not tacky, and it's not heavy on the skin because that little bit of body brings so much plumping to the skin. Once it starts to absorb into your skin, you feel this deep, deep hydration. It really dives into relieve dehydrated skin. It really gets in there, but then it plumps your skin up while still feeling light and refreshing. And like I said, deeply hydrating, never sticky at the surface. Surface. This is a toner that you can layer up without building up thickness on your skin, but I have to tell you, a little bit of this really goes a long way. It's so hard working for your skin. You know, I love like multiple layers of toner. I can get all the hydration my thirsty skin wants in just two layers and just a small quantity. So not only is this affordable in the sense that this runs about $10, very, very affordable for about 150 milliliter of toner, but you don't need to use layers and layers and layers to achieve the hydration that you want. A little bit goes a really long way with this product, so something else to love. Now, you may be intrigued by phytomucin and wild yam in skincare, so V Green really has you covered. They do have the Nature Mucin Serum, which is, I believe, one of the products they are most known for, and I really do think that this is kind of pioneering in the KBD space to have this vegan snail alternative. And again, this has all those benefits for repairing the skin, for protecting it with antioxidant power, for being antibacterial, and kind of like the toner, it's really well known for plumping and hydrating your skin and giving you that bouncy effect without any snail in the mix. And again, it's never sticky or tacky in the texture. It's this really nice light gel texture that absorbs deeply into the skin and it feels so good. And it is really friendly towards sensitive 
sensitive skin too. I've never had any issues with any V Green products, honestly. They are very, very gentle, very effective, and I've been loving this particularly for summertime because I love juicy, bouncy skin, but in light, non-sticky textures, and that's exactly what this delivers. I do wanna shout out the V Green Sika Serum because this is really great when your skin is just feeling a little bit irritated or maybe a little bit stressed out. This has centella in it. It's very, very soothing. There's also some panthenol for deep hydration and barrier strengthening. And it's got this really nice light watery uh, texture to it. It's not as plumping as the mucin serum is, but it definitely does have a hydrating, light and breathable feeling on the skin that I so adore in summertime. And this just gently calms the skin down. My skin was feeling just a little bit stressed out recently and I started using this and it's just like that really gentle hug, just that little gentle effect on the skin that really just helped it bounce back a lot faster. So this is a really great option if you're looking for an affordable, calming serum. Both of the serums from V Green, they do retail about $16 for 50 milliliter of serum. So that's about three months worth of serum under $20. I think they're a great value. Um, and I think that they, like I said, they go a long way. And especially if vegan and cruelty-free are very important to you, this, this is a really great affordable brand. Now, if you like really simple, minimal moisturizers that get the job done and maybe even are suited to hot weather, you have to know about the V Green Daily Moisture Cream. I was actually really surprised by this because the ingredients are very minimal. It really is just like glycerin and squalene that are doing the heavy lifting for your skin. And it comes in this gel cream texture. So it actually has, again, that hydrating plumping factor with the glycerin, a little bit of moisture, a little bit of that like soothing, comforting, balancing moisture, and just a hint of occlusivity at the end of it. I didn't think this was actually going to do much for my like moisture thirsty skin, but actually this has been performing really nicely in hot weather for me because it's just enough occlusivity to protect from dehydration. It's just enough richness from the squalene, not heavy at all, but just a hint of it. And then that beautiful plumping glycerin. I love good plump juicy skin all year round, but especially in the summertime. This actually performed. I was really, really, really shocked. And it's so minimal. It's fragrance free. It is so kind to my sensitive skin, but it gives you that great plumping feel. It conditions your skin, makes it feel silky soft. For about $13, I think this is a steal. Now, V Green really has you covered with the basics. I mean, we talked toner, we talked serum, we talked moisturizer. That's really all you need to build a very effective skincare routine. But let me tell you, one other area where my budget can be completely completely blown really quickly when it comes to skincare is sunscreen. Especially when you're picky like me <laughs> and you're looking for fragrance-free and alcohol-free options and it can really get expensive very quickly. But there are a few that I found out there that like routinely retail under $10 that are very, very affordable and happen to have great formulas. So the first one is the Bondi Sands SPF Daily Sunscreen. And this is really my American drugstore pick. I do find this to be very, very affordable. It retails around seven to $8. Um, there's a larger size, I think that's about $12, but still very affordable, especially for being fragrance free super hard to find at the American drugstore, is it not? Bondi Sands actually hit the scene um, just uh, recently, like within the last year or so in America, and I have found their products to be really, really nice. This is a chemical sunscreen. It is using the older generation filter, so if you have really sensitive skin or a sensitive eye area, this may not be for you. I'm gonna be completely honest there, but if you don't have any problems with those filters like irritating your skin, this is a very affordable pick that's also water resistant. Really important if you know you're gonna be sweating with your sunscreen, like it's super hot and humid or maybe you're going for a run, you do want a sunscreen that is gonna stay on your skin and resist that sweat for a little bit longer than uh, the sunscreens that are not rated for water resistance. Really important, something that I found out when I was in Greece, sweating in the middle of summertime, sweat resistance is important. Now another affordable pick that I like that uses new generation chemical filters is the Beauty of Joseon Rice Plus Probiotic. 
antibiotic sunscreen. Again, another chemical sunscreen, but with the newer generation filters, you're less likely to get the irritation on your skin or possibly around that delicate eye area. So this is a great one that I see routinely on sale at K-Beauty sites for like 10 to $13, which for sunscreen that is completely fragrance free, I think is still a steal. Now you do need to know this one is not rated for sweat resistance. So this is not the one that you want to be using when you're going outside for a run, right? This is something that you want to use as you're commuting in your car to work or running errands, or you know you're not going to be sweating all of that much. Really pick your sunscreen based on your activities. So for more casual sun exposure, something that's a little bit more affordable, look for the Beauty of Joseon sunscreen. Like I said, routinely on sale around 10 to $13. Once you start building off of your basic skincare routine and sunscreen, you find yourself wandering out into treatments and exfoliants, and that's where the budget starts to creep up again, right? You may be like, oh no, I'm breaking out, or oh no, I need to treat the hyperpigmentation on my face, and you go out and buy a new product and that can start to make the month get very expensive. So I wanna share with you some of my favorite exfoliators and treatments that are so incredibly affordable. And the first one I wanna talk about is azelaic acid because this is an ingredient that saved my skin many years ago. I had very, very congested skin. I had clogged pores all over the place. They were very inflamed and red and were often turning into active acne. And it was just like a real vicious cycle. I just could not get rid of them until I discovered azelaic acid. This is such a wonderful ingredient that helps to um, clear out the pores. It helps not only with the existing uh, clogs, which often lead to acne, right? Um, it helps to clear out the pores and keep them clear over time. It helps to make your skin shed the dead skin cells a lot more effectively. It helps to reduce redness on the skin, and it also helps to bright, hi brighten hyperpigmentation. Like it's really an all-in-one ingredient that has done so much for my skin. It has been a little bit bit more difficult to obtain in the past, but now that it's becoming better known, it's in a lot more products, but I still find it to be a somewhat like expensive ingredient running up like towards $30. And while I do think it can be worth it, if you are tight on the budget, it's never worth it to blow your money on a skincare product. That's how I feel. If you don't have it, it's not worth it. There are affordable options out there. And honestly, The Ordinary really does it best with their azelaic acid suspension. This is 10% of azelaic acid. So 10% is a really good amount of azelaic acid. And this is just going to run you like a cool $10. It really is not all that expensive. Now, part of the reason it's not expensive is because they really just focus on giving you that active ingredient in The Ordinary ordinary and they don't really focus on any like additional ingredients like multi-layered formulas and they don't really focus on elegant textures and that's always been the drawback to this product is it's got kind of an odd texture to it it's very silicone it can feel very occlusive on the skin and kind of hard to spread and it definitely can pill on your skin depending on what other products you might be using with it but honestly I don't think that if you're on a tight budget if inflation is getting you down I don't think that you need to go and spend 20 dollars more than this like in the $30 range just to get an elegant texture there are quick fixes that you can use at home that will save you cash and one of my favorite ways to use this is actually just mix a touch of moisturizer just a little pea size amount of moisturizer into uh, this so squirt it on the back of your hand a little bit of moisturizer mix it up and then apply I promise you this is not diluting the ingredient you're not making it ineffective for your skin but what you're doing is you're just helping to loosen up that really real thick kind of silicone texture so that it spreads and applies to your face a lot more evenly and a lot more easily. So this can be a nice workaround if that texture just is not for you. You don't have to sacrifice the extra money if you just don't have it. Use that little trick. See if it doesn't make this a lot easier to use. But if it doesn't bug you, you know what I mean? This is a cool $10 and a great way to get an excellent ingredient into your skincare routine. Now, tranexamic acid is an ingredient I am always raising about for hyperpigmentation and sun damage. This is such an effective ingredient that really helps with 
brown patches, sun damage, even melasma. You know, it works a lot harder for the skin, in my opinion, than just niacinamide alone, which is a very famous and good brightening ingredient. But tranexamic acid, if you have sun damage, this is the ingredient you want to look for. And much like azelaic acid, it's just starting to pick up in popularity, but there is still not that many products out there that are offering this ingredient and certainly not a lot of products offering it at an affordable price. I mean, one of the serums that I really, really like with tranexamic acid, it's about 36 to $40, like on sale, I think. And with inflation raising, you know, the price of everything around us, that just may not work for you. It's like a non-starter, right? So I actually do, um, I recently discovered a very affordable alternative. I'm talking $10 affordable, and it is the Cos de Baja Tranexamic Acid and Niacinamide Serum. This has 5% of tranexamic acid. That's a good amount. Plus, ooh, we have more, 5% of niacinamide. That's a good amount. Now, you know, I just kind of said, oh, niacinamide, it doesn't work as well. But I will say that the more expensive serum, you know, Paula's Choice, it does actually combine these two ingredients together to make it more effective. So you're actually getting a very similar formula at a fraction of the cost from a very, very affordable Korean brand, Kosti Baja. If you're really looking for active ingredients, I mean, very much like The Ordinary, just focusing on active ingredients, not necessarily a lot of else going on in these formulas, but if you want active ingredients or um, exfoliators at a budget you know, price, then definitely Costi Baja is the one you want to look at. Now, I also want to talk about salicylic acid because this is so good if you do have clogged pores or active acne. BHA is so, so good for that. And I do want to talk about another ordinary product. So good if you're looking for affordable skincare. It's their salicylic acid 2% solution. This is great uh, as a spot treatment. This is actually kind of a multi-use product. You can use it all over your face if you do just need that BHA exfoliation. Also particularly good if you do get a lot of blackheads, BHA is very good for that. So you can use it all over your face like a serum or as an exfoliating treatment, but you can also just use this as a spot treatment on any pimples that you want to come to a head. So this can replace a spot treatment. It can replace your exfoliator, and this can be a really easy serum to add into addition to the rest of your skincare routine because this is only going to run you about six dollars. Now let's talk about pampering because just because you are looking to save some money or you're cutting back in certain areas does not mean you have to completely sacrifice everything. Part of the reason I really love skincare as a hobby, you know, is that pampering effect, that self-care effect that it gives me. And sometimes for me that means doing a lot of masks or using tools or doing massage. And honestly that can really get pretty expensive, right? Especially all the sheet masks and the wash off masks. And even if you're into using like um, LED masks or even devices, those can be very, very expensive. A great investment, but maybe now is not the right time, right? So, I mean, if you're like me and you like a little bit of pampering, but you're trying to save your money and not splurge on unnecessary products, I would actually say look into Gua Sha if you haven't already. This little tool has really taken off in popularity. This is very easy to find at discount stores. You can get it at Amazon. You can get it at Target. $10, you don't have to pay a lot for this if you don't want to. You can get very inexpensive gua sha tools. They work the same as the expensive ones do. They really do. But really think about learning how to use your gua sha because you can get so many benefits out of this. It costs next to nothing to use it and it's eco-friendly. It's a lot like kinder to the environment than using lots and lots of disposable sheet masks, right? I mean, it is something that you want to think about. But if you love a sheet mask, go for it, but I'm just saying, think about gua sha because you can use this for so many benefits. You can even just use this under the eyes uh, daily if you want to help with the blood flow and that can actually improve dark um, under eye circles or redness underneath the eyes. You can cool this a little bit and then even just run it under cold water and then run this under your eyes to depuff 
or hold it on top of the lids to depuff and kind of give um, a little bit of that like soothing effect to tired or itchy eyes during allergy season. You can use this for lymphatic massage where you kind of help to move the liquid <laughs> that is in your face down and that gives you a very slim and lifted look and it's good just to kind of get the blood flowing. It can really make your skin glow. You can use this to work certain muscles in your face to keep them firm and lifted. You can also use this as a de-stressing tool. I have a video on this where you can use this on certain pressure points to relieve tension and stress and to help yourself relax. So if you carry a lot of tension in your jaws or in your temples or even the back of your neck and shoulders, this is amazing for relaxing and helping your body just kind of like release the tension and maybe even some of the anxiety that's held in your body. This is invaluable. It's affordable. It is not disposable. It will pay you back over and over and over and over and over again. And it seems really simple, but it can really elevate your skincare routine. So hopefully that gave you some ideas if inflation is really pinching on your wallet right now. I want to thank V Green for sponsoring a portion of today's video and everything we talked about from all the brands is linked in the description box below, like always for easy browsing if you wanna add any of these to your wish list. If you love this video, you made it this far, but you haven't hit subscribe, I would really be honored if you would subscribe to my channel. I do release a lot of new content throughout the week, like full length videos and shorts, so consider turning on notifications too so you can always get that skincare fix. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe wherever you are in the world, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.